Let's use what we've learned about the uh, square of a sum and the square of a difference uh, in a word problem. So Alano has a garden that is G feet long and G feet wide. He wants to add three feet to the length and the width. Show how the new area of the garden is modeled by the square of a binomial. Well, let's see. So we've got the, we want to find the area of a garden that initially is three feet long and three feet wide, which means it's going to be a square. But the area of a square is found by the length times the width. But he wants to add three feet to both the length and the width, which means now we would have an area that is equal to G, the length of uh, is G plus three. That would be the length where he adds three feet. And then the width is also G plus three. And what we have is the square of a sum. So if we do this, the square of a binomial, we can say then this is g plus 3 squared, which we see right there. Then it says find the square of this binomial. Well, of course, what we learned is, is that that would be g squared plus 2 times g times 3 plus 9, where, three squ where we square 3. So let's see, we got g squared plus 2 times g times 3 plus 9. And we just do a little work on that middle term. 2 times g times 3 gives us 6g. And so the square of this binomial is g squared plus 6g plus 9. Recognizing the pattern that we've got the square of a sum in a binomial, uh, and we do a little shortcut me uh, method, and um, maybe rather than using FOIL, but again, I'm going to stress again, FOIL will always work whether you recognize the pattern or not. But there's a square of a sum word problem. Next up, we're going to talk about the square of a sum and a difference. It's got its own little pattern.